if you open the google classroom the mobile phone as well as the laptop uh, you may find the three options only stream uh, stream class work as well as the people in the people you can see the, the entire class students uh, as well as the, the class teachers uh, but for us which is more important in the sense you have to click the class work kind of check you have to click the class work this is the main important uh, options of you once you click the class work you can find out the the three options uh, only the two options now you are able to see exactly within two or three minutes you may find out the third options also just uh, i am refreshing because i already uploaded one model question just it may be visible to you yeah kindly see i hope all of us you may get the three heads three title you may get it one is called instructions then second one is for question paper third one is for the answer scripts the first one the instructions uh, is already the those are highlighted all the instructions uh, the instructions available as a open book examination guidelines once you open you may read the same thing once and uh, when this has given the instruction he told that the answer scripts already uploaded in the google classroom this is an answer script uh, i will tell how to download this one okay the people is having the confusion to downloading this particular answer script the first page the first page of the your answer script once you click this particular uh, the front page answer script you are getting this kind of uh, small interface there you can click the view material once you click the view material it leads the next interface there you can double click the this uh, pdf file once you double click the pdf file this file it may open like this see here this is a file of your first page there what you have to do you have to uh, normally not able to download because you are not finding the download options in this case so therefore you may confusion that how to download how to take a printer what you have to do after reaching this level i can go to the, the three dots the right side you are finding the three dots once you click the three dots you are finding the one more option it's called open in new window once you click the open in new window you may find out the download options after that only you are finding the download options see here then you can download this file and take it print out uh, you can download and keep it in the pen drive and then go for shop and take a print out so these things you have to do well in advance today itself you can finish this task um, sometimes if you have made any mistakes um, there is a chance without knowing you are writing uh, the examinations wrong uh, what is that the course code wrongly and all better you can take uh, sufficient copy minimum um, i am telling the minimum four is enough but better you can keep it at least six copies in your hand sometimes if any mistakes happen you can change the, the first sheets that is why i am giving the uh, importance that at least you can keep it in your hand as a six copy but four is more than enough suppose if you made any mistakes sometimes may need it that's so i am telling to take at least six copies with your hand this is the first steps you have to do today itself i hope now you understand how uh, you have to download this one then i am going back to my google classroom yes so now see here so after this this is the same we were getting and uh, if you come down you are getting the question paper the same manner exactly 9:45 of the each day you may get the question paper what you have to do you have to open that particular for example the day one in the sense it comes like this day one question paper you have to open this one uh, exactly 9:45 may reaching you then double click this link uh, double this pdf and download it so the download you already knows once you go with the three dots go with open new window then after that it leads the next page there you have to download this file so once you downloaded it may working the offline also there is no need to be online because after downloading you have to write the examination so that time there's no need for internet better to download it otherwise you should be online in all the cases in uh, up to the three hours better to be download the question paper after you can go for offline so okay Uh, then downloading the automatically downloaded in your downloaded uh, area of your system then it, from this you can be uh, open the question paper and then write the examinations and once you re, uh, receive the question paper what you have to do exactly 9:45 within 10 minutes within a 10 minutes all should give the confirmation message so i will tell how to give the confirmation see here one this is a question paper model question paper just now i uploaded you have to click here and uh, 
if you click the view material you may find out the the class comments option so here they are here to give the confirmation message uh, sir i reserved always uh, i received the question paper i reserved so this so you can give some confirmation message so i request all to give this kind of confirmation message now itself um, then only you can know where you can give the confirmation message of the question paper the question paper down it's a, there is a comment box there you have to give the confirmations message of your examinations these things you have to give um, um, within a 10 minutes of 9:45 so um, you could not be give it after 10 o'clock because is so before uh, 9:55 you should be give this uh, received confirmations suppose if you have any difficulties we have to contact before 10 o'clock yeah so now see here anita saranya muzambil so they type like this the same manner you have to type the the confirmation message of yours i hope now you understand the each day the each day of the question paper once you receive you have to give this kind of confirmation message the same thing i can do the demonstration suppose some people is having the mobile phone uh, they could not find it the this much of options that's why i am coming to the mobile phones view can you see here in the mobile phone view um i am opening the google classrooms uh, those who are using a mobile phone you have to install the google classroom mobile apps in your mobile phone and uh, then once you join the classroom automatically you can check which mail id you join so suppose you have a lot of mail id kindly select which mail id you join with us that mail id you have to select then immediately this kind of uh, things it may visible to you there in down the i already mentioned the laptop there is a three important uh, functions uh, of the google classroom one is stream class work and people uh, assist students for is much important for class work only once you click the class work the same three options instructions question paper answers is made visible to you there what you have to do you can click the model question paper then uh, now i am going to demonstrate how to download the question paper in the mobile phone also suppose you don't have a laptop if you are using mobile phone also not at all issue then open this pdf file here also you are not finding any kind of um, download options see here no download options so the questions may visible like this how we can download in the sense after opening this page there is a three dot the same kind of google in the laptop version the three dots once you click the three dots sorry not not three dots near to that there is a small tab that is called open tab so previously in the laptop version we are going the three dots but here no need to go with the three dots here instead of that there is a open tab options once you open the open tab options uh it leaves the the drive mode there you may find the download options after clicking after going the open tab you can go the three dots you may find out the download options you have to download the question paper in your mobile phone itself then after that you can work in offline you can write the examinations um because it may download it then after that you can uh, it will be um visible in the offline mode also the question paper you have to type these things yes so this is why we have to <coughs> download the question paper in your la- mobile phone as well as the laptop and just i am going to check whether all the people are giving the uh, response i request others also kindly type the receive so you made the confusion where you have to give the receive suppose if you are using a mobile phone after open the question paper in down you are getting the add class comments see i am coming to the mobile view and um, this is a mobile view uh, there you can click the one sign model question paper in the class comments you may see the all the class comments of your students there you can type sir received okay you have to receive so like that you have to give the confirmation message there itself so don't forget Uh, even if you are using a mobile phone also so only this much people are giving the receipt confirmation this is the first part the second part after writing the examinations you don't go for the question paper because the question paper is a topic the headings may um, useful only for the receiving the question paper only when the examination over you have to go with the answer scripts see here there is a answer scripts what you have to do Uh, i may go like this uh, the first day day one answer scripts upload day two uh, answer script upload it may enable nearly 12, 12 o'clock only so otherwise 12 30 i can make it as a 12 30 this demo options uh, sorry the answer script options of the each day it may um, shows to you exactly 12 30 hours only 
then after the examinations up to 130 before the 130 you have to click this particular uh the answer script there you may find the day one day two so the exact date of the examination can click there and click the view assignments then after this this kind of page may comes there you can add or create options are there once you click add or create options it has to be upload your scan documents and there the for uploading the scan documents you have to um, use the link options don't use the other options sorry file options google drive link is not needed only the file options you have to use because you already uh, download the the particular um, uh, uh, answer scripts in a pdf file so then what you have to do you can be upload that particular pdf file directly this file options only now i am going to do the demonstration how to scan the your answer script in a adobe scan after how you can be uploaded through the google classroom that's i will be highlighting to you um, yesterday itself i shared whatsapp message Uh, you have to download the adobe scan applications of your mobile phone why we are focusing the adobe scan application in the sense because the adobe scan is totally free compared to the other uh, application like cam scanner or other applications and one more things you cannot find any watermark but if you are going with the note plaq or the other applications you may get the watermark it may be hide your answers so that is why uh, all the students should um install the adobe scan as the applications in your mobile phone it may support to the both ios as well as the android mobile phone so i hope now you understand so this is an adobe scan see the first icon uh, it's totally free uh, and also the client device is so good you have to be install the uh, adobe scan if you are not installed straight now then after installations this kind of icons you may get it the first row the first icon if i open it automatically it may comes uh, it open a mobile camera only what you have to do see here um, first you have to keep the answer script so you can be do after one o'clock only these things so before uh, going to scan keep the order keep the order of your page so you have to keep the the order of the page so that's why they saw told you can use the the page number of each page see here you can start the page number 1 Two, three, like so. Each page you have to give the page number. Why in the sense when you scan it, sometimes it may be shuffle. Then you could not find out what is the first page and second page. Even we could not find out the continuity when you evaluate the answer script as a soft copy. You should be give the page number at each pages. Better to the top side, the top corner. The top corner you have to highlight the page number. it should be crystal clear page number so don't be uh, uh, write it in a uh, vague manner so be clear way to write the answer script so write a question uh, and uh, the page number as well the question number should be very clear now i'm going to the demonstration um, so after 1 o'clock what you have to do you can open the adobe scan applications then immediately to open a camera only now kindly see you have to keep the mobile phone in the above the answer scripts uh, if you keep the answer script uh, sometime default it should be uh, taking the photo otherwise you can click the center button once you click the center button only the particular area may select it. see here the first page is ready the first page is ready so now you can see the first page is clear then what you have to go you can go for the next page for adding the next page see here for adding the next page in the down you are getting the add page options kind of see there is an add page options you have to click the add page once you click the add page you are getting the take another photo then you can take another photo then you can open the the first page of your written script so here i am opening the, the first page of the written script one minute yeah so i am scanning it here so there is a, yeah now i am scanning this second first page the first page is a front page but in the writing script this is a first page so i am scanning it the first page is ready so the first page it may come as a second page only that's not at all issue okay then how we can go for third page go to the add page once again take another photo then i am changing the the third page then i am scanning this page So I'm scanning this page. 
suppose uh, once you go with this there is a uh, now it's this also clear suppose you want to crop something in down there is a crop option see here there is an other unwanted things which comes in the sense go to the crop and select the which part you want to scan properly you can select the particular area and then click um okay so and then click okay that they about tick mark otherwise there is a auto detect options also there that also you can keep it and then click okay so normally if you are going with auto detect options good so the next page i am going to the add page take another photo you can take yeah so like that you can go with uh, n number of pages so it may supporting more than 25 pages also suppose after 25 page sometime it shows that it's reached more than 25 page we want to exceed then don't be confused because uh, it may extended more than 50 pages of single page but after 25 page there is a message you may get it uh, sir you can uh, whether you want to go for the 26 page for scanning then some people may confusion oh it may stop like that you may have any confusion so don't worry you can go for the further to uh, add n number of pages so it may support more than 50 pages or maybe you won't write 50 pages and all so i'm going to the next page like that you can go with all the pages in scanning all the 26 page you have to scan like this or all the pages you have to scan now see here and now there's a chance some people may be rotate without knowing for example when you take a scan some papers may turn like this second paper third paper may sometimes if your mobile phone if you are changing in different manner automatically the shape of the scanning should make change what you have to do uh, don't be saved like this so you have to select this particular page in down you are getting the rotate options select the rotate select the rotate select the rotate then up to it will comes like this you have to rotate this page then you can crack check whether all the pages are there so 1 2 3 4 5 so i have only five pages like that you can scan all the pages okay so this is why and uh, suppose if you did any kind of uh, order issue uh, i will tell how to do your ordering is better you can be scan in order then there, there is no issues comes suppose suppose you find that uh, you miss one pages in the sense uh, you can after saving you can go for editing that options also available that's i will tell you then after adding all the pages you have to go for save now how to save this file please kindly see after scanning you are getting the there is a option scan 05 december 2020 there you have to change the file name you have to click this the editing pen symbol and the file name should be your first so uh each paper so each examinations the answer script having the unique number uh for example the suppose i am the eme uh, 19 this is my uh, number for example 01 this is my number like that you can type the first uh, your roll number after this you can go with uh, down uh, one hyphen okay so then after that you can give the paper code for example the paper code em uh third semester 114 so this is a paper code like that you can add the uh, file name each uh, answer script name um like uh, how in the sense based on your uh, roll number then later one hyphen then the course code because once you download automatically we can check how many people are submitted how many people are not submitted even we can find which roll numbers are not submitted as uh, the answer script that we can easy to uh, find it from um, this kind of way so better you should be not better you should be keep this kind of file names only after keeping this file name go with the rename go with the rename automatically the file is to be ready the you can check the file links there then go with save pdf if you click save pdf automatically it converts as a pdf now see here it takes few minutes for pdf that's why we are giving the uh, half an hour time half an hour time for the um, scanning up to um, sending so half an hour is more than enough now it takes time for few minutes now it's uploaded now it should be saved properly after this what you have to do you have to share to your mail so because if you go with the share option you are finding the share a copy um, you may find out the google classroom okay but sometimes the google classrooms uh, locations you cannot find out from here directly 
it has to the upload only therefore what you have to do sometimes you may confuse the root how to reach the google classroom so what you have to do after saving this one you can go down uh, you can go back and go to your uh, go to your google classroom of your mobile phone otherwise if you are using a laptop you have to send these things through your mail you can send to the mail to your mail there you can download it after that you can upload it in your google classroom that's also possible so now i'm going to do demonstration how to upload directly from your mobile phone through the google classrooms open a google classrooms uh, i open the google classroom there you can go to the the demo answer script upload so here only you can upload the answer scripts open the demo answer scripts there you can go with uh, this option so in down you are getting the c once again go to the class work there you can go with answer scripts you can go with the your work there's an uh, error mark once you click the your uh, work it asks to add attachments click add attachments in the add, uh, add attachments you may find out the options called file upload the third options click the file upload automatically it comes the recent file locations otherwise adobe scan suppose you cannot find the adobe scan what you have to do normally the recent may comes um, then you may confusion where is the adobe scan what you have to do if you click here you may find out the all the applications thing there you can go with adobe scan once you click the adobe scan what are the files you saved it may come here so all the adobe scans things there you have to type the the file name which you type here eme so just i'm typing the eme automatically the file names should be comes here just to select the file but only the one thing you have to crack check whether this is a file for this examinations okay don't upload the other unwanted things just to select before uploading you can ensure whether you uploading the exact file of the answer scripts then click it automatically the attachments uh, it may uh, because that uh, file is to be somewhat uh, high kb you know it takes few minutes to upload see here once you uploaded so now after uploaded you may get this options eme the pdf files you may see from here then click hand it so it means you are send these things to the teachers now you can see here uh, in the laptop also i didn't do the laptop automatically the file names comes after uploading you can click turn in options so in the mobile phone you can give the hand in options i am going to hand it so one attachment will be submitted demo answer scripts upload hand it so once you hand it automatically this uh, things is to be reaching us so now this is a teachers uh, this is a students view i am going to the teachers view see here this is a teachers view uh, there we may find out your answer scripts suppose when say go with the grade i can see who submitted yeah so there i can easy to know who submitted um so still no one, no one can submit it just i do the refresh yeah only for me only for example i am only submitted as a student that's why my name is comes a green color from there i can easily to understand who submitted the answer script who is not submitted the answer script and uh, we are giving the response before 1:30 sorry uh, before 2 o'clock uh, we are checking the answer script so from us we are checking the answer script like this so uh, as a teachers we are, i am going to here the answer script uh, once i go here out of 18 members only one person has submitted so once i click here as a teacher i may see the the document i can see the documents uh, of the file which attached by the students these things we have downloaded so these things we will crack check so we will check the the entire pages whether it will be visible uh, scanned properly suppose it's not scanned properly we may give the response private comments we are sending that it's not clear kindly upload once again we may highlight kindly upload once again you have to upload once again suppose if the scan is not good suppose if there is no issue we may give the comments like this okay great so we received your file we received your file we received your answer script so like that in the teacher side so we are sending this kind of response as a post immediately this also you may receive from your end this is way the response may happen so if you are submitting 130 we may give the response before 2 o'clock so kindly ensure whether you are getting this kind of confirmation message to your end so this is a teachers view i am showing here okay and we can download we can do the evaluations and one more thing 
uh you were um, so once you scan the document you cannot do any modification to the hard copy because the hard copy it's one thing in the soft copy is one thing it's not be good because once you scan it don't do any modification in the hard copy of your answer script because it won't be counted uh, because it's like a uh, malpractice okay so don't do any kind of changes after scan your documents that is why we are telling you have to be upload before 130 so before doing scanning you can do any modification your answer scripts but once you scan you don't change the any marks in the answer scripts of the hard copy so it may be violating the rules because is this okay now if you have any doubts uh, i do the demonstrations through the mobile phone only suppose if you want to um, use only the laptop what you have to do um the same options you may find it from here so once you go here um you are finding the the classwork options there you may find the demo answer scripts once you click the demo answer scripts uh, you are finding the view assignments there uh, i already uploaded that's why it's not enabled here it tells the add file you can add the file but before that you can send the the adobe scan the pdf versions of your answer script to your mail id that is very simple suppose you are not having the mobile phone of the google classrooms mobile application what you have to do just i am opening the uh, mobile phone this also is needed uh, you have to um, just i am opening adobe scan this is an adobe scan so i am opening now suppose you don't have the mobile phone uh, google classroom you want to depends on the laptop only what you have to do go to the share options in the share options you can go with the share a copy once you click a share copy it goes to the gmail you can send the gmail you can send to your gmail so just i am typing is it uh, same mail of your you then send to you okay send to your gmail then after that you can open your laptop download the this file in your computer <coughs> in your uh, computer or laptop then finally you can upload from your laptop Uh, in the google classroom so this is why you have to be upload this documents i hope now you are getting some clarity about how to upload it uh, now i request all you can take a, a few minutes you can do one or two uh, scan so in front of any paper script is there just to scan it you can try for uploading in the google classroom now itself i will give you five uh, 10 more minutes time you can try for this because sometimes the people is having the issue for uploading these documents only that's why uh i am giving the few for minutes if you have any doubts you can ask me now itself you can try it now parallel if you have any questions you can ask me